Ready? Now move your shoulders up. Down. And up. And down. Now turn your head all the way this way. Good morning. We are trying desperately to try to get back into some sort of a normal life. We had Christmas, then we had our three and a half week road trip, and then we've been home for only a week. And in that time, Laura and Elise both had birthdays. So I feel like all normalcy is out the window and we're just trying to regain order in our lives. Anyway, I'm starting off my morning with a smoothie, which is one of my favorite breakfasts. It has kale and orange juice and some yogurt and some strawberries in it. So. I'm getting really frustrated with our blender though because it's basically non-functional. Like I have to, you know, blend it up in like little tiny amounts and like shake it up and stir it up. And so I'm really daydreaming about getting one of those nice blenders that like actually blends things. But I can't decide which one to get. I know there's Blendtec and there's another big one. What's the other big brand? Oh, Vitamix. Vitamix is that one. Or there's Ninja, which is kind of like a lower cost option. Anyway. How's the smoothie? Good. You like it? And I really want to have a smoothie when I'm a mom. Oh, you think you can even have a smoothie now? So what breakfast I'm going to have in when I'm a dad is yogurt and smoothie. Mm. Whoa. It's kind of cold. I have a little bit of brain freeze. Did you drink I it all? More. You want more? Let's see. There you go. All right, so here's what's for lunch today. It's so nice to be able to be just be having fun and being a little bit more creative and getting out of our lunch rut. What's your favorite part, Caleb? Mm -hmm. The popcorn. The raspberries. The raspberries. You know what's good for raspberries all together? I'm grateful for strawberries. You're grateful for strawberries? I'm grateful for Families. Mm. I'm grateful for the vlog. Mm. All people's vlogs. I'm grateful You're grateful for strawberries? And I'm, I'm grateful for you. Me? Yeah, because we're you. All of you. The viewers are me. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say I'm grateful for our viewers. You guys. Very cool. I'm grateful for the sun. Sun's cool. The sun has come out. It's supposed to be warmer this weekend, which I'm really excited about. Sorry, it sounds like there's a rocket ship leaving my house. It's just my washing machine. All right, so we are currently in a bit of a co-sleeping nightmare at our house. So here's the deal. Jeremy and I have always just had our kids sleep in their own beds. They sleep better that way, we sleep better that way, and so that's just kind of what we've always done. But on this trip that we just went on, we were often sleeping as a whole family in one room. And so if Laura woke up in the middle of the night, she was in an unfamiliar place, and so we would just put her into our bed with us, and she would sleep in there. The problem is that our trip was three and a half weeks long, so now she thinks that's the norm. And so since we've been home, like when she wakes up in the middle of the night, instead of just being able to be soothed and put back to bed, are you trying to climb on my lap? <laughs> Come here, beautiful. Anyway, so instead of just being soothed in the middle of the night like she used to be, now she thinks she has to come sleep with us. And so last night, you know, she wakes up and she actually woke up Elise, who shares a room with her. And so we brought her into our bed after several, several attempts to get her to go to sleep in her own bed. And then she only wants to sleep on my pillow. Like, it drives me crazy. I'm left with like four inches of the bed and then she turns sideways and like kicks me in the face. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Just go sleep in your own bed. But I've never had to break a kid of a co-sleeping habit because we've never been co-sleepers. And so I don't know how to get her to sleep in her own bed, but I want my bed back. <sighs> Ms. Laura, where do you want to sleep tonight? My bed. Yeah, in your bed. Where's your bed? <gasps> there it is. I find my bed. Is it in there? I don't think your binkies are in there. Look in your hands. I think your binkies are in your hands. <laughs> Silly Billy. All right. Say goodnight to our viewers. It's nap time. Daddy's not home right now. Can you say daddy's at work? Daddy feed the kid. Daddy's feet are working? Yes. <laughs> With a neigh and a moo and a cock a doodle doo. Another little promenade, two by two. So Elise is doing a really fun activity with reading today. Wing. Wing. That's right, wing. 
Ack. Mac. Good job. That looks gross, but it smells good. Does it? <laughs> All right, so for dinner tonight, we are doing a freezer meal, and it's a crock pot meal. It's called Cook Once, Eat Twice. Cook Once, Eat Twice? Yeah. Do you want to stir it for me? Yeah. All right, so this meal is a roast, and we're going to have sliders and french fries with it tonight. And then tomorrow, we're going to take the leftover meat, and we're going to make it into baked chimichangas. Mm. I know. I really like that. What does it smell like? It smells like chicken. It smells like chicken. So I'm clipping her fingernails and I finished and she feels her thumb and she says, this one has problems. I'm like, what? I've never heard her say that word before. Can you say problems? Problems. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? So we were wishing that it was gonna be warm enough to play outside this afternoon, but I don't think it is. But this weekend it's supposed to be super warm. Go so it is. you think we should try? We'll see what the kids can talk me into, but at the moment, Isaac and I are playing a grueling game of mastermind. He got his answer in three turns last time. <gasps> okay guys, I got two whites and a red. Well, they talked me into venturing outside and I'm glad we did. They are loving it. I don't know how long we'll last because it is a little chilly, but they're happy. How are you? Okay, show me how you break. Whoa. I'm running out of gas. I need to go to the gas station. Where's the gas station? Right there. It's oh, so good. close. Oh, good. I'm glad it's so close. <laughs> All right, bud. How's it feel to be on your bike again? It feels weird. Yeah? Because it's been a long time? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's harder to ride your bike because you have less teeth now? Normal. <laughs> Normal. Normal. Okay. So I just asked Laura to help me clean up and I said, go push your car in. And I was pointing to her little red, like little tykes car. And I hear her in the background, she's like, Arr! and she goes, too hard, mom. And I said, okay, I'll get it over the little edge of the driveway. And so I pu push it into the garage and I turn around and she is pushing our actual van as hard as she can. And she goes, Arr! too hard, mom, too hard. <laughs> Did you try to push the van? Laura. What do you want to do? Crash it. What? Crash it. What? Crash it. Crash it? Hey Caleb, I think she said Christmas. She wants to do Christmas. Ooh. Hey Laura, what do you want to do? Crash it. Look at the sunset tonight. Loving it. Well, I had a super long day of depositions on a new case that's come up. It's a complex business litigation matter. So tell me about your work. Do you work? Where do you work? What do you do? What's exciting going on in your work? Did you just get a promotion? Like, I'd love to hear something about your work in the comments below. So let us know. Well, it's so fun to see the kids running around outside. Well, this is definitely one of my favorites. It's so good. So it's been so cute. The last several days, Kendra has started doing a yoga routine with the kids before they go to bed. Oh, here they are. You guys take one more deep breath. Now sit up. Did you hear Laura's deep breath? <laughs> <laughs> sit up. Raise your arms straight up. Stretch. Ready, now move your shoulders up. Down. And up. And down. Now turn your head all the way this way. Now turn your head all the way that way. <laughs> now put both your arms straight up. And go down. Point. Flex. Point. Flex. Now try to touch your toes. Reach for your toes. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow on J House out.